And to summarize, as we always like to summarize, once we can just focus that, you know, it's so important to get space from the mind. If we, if we haven't already generated enough space, we probably believe that we are our minds. And to control the heart the best way it can is to convince itself that it's its mind and our, its heart is just a part of the human body. <laughs> okay, the heart is just a part of the human body. Well, the heart is a part of the human body, but maybe the very heart is our only true existence within this world. And maybe the heart is the essence of the life force within this illusion that our mind is programmed to believe. And our mind is just a, a weapon of destruction. So, you know, are we shooting bullets or are we shooting love? That's the truth. You know, are we shooting thoughts from our minds out into this world of negativity, of hatred, of injustice, of jealousy of neglect or are we shooting truth from our heart of love of kindness of generosity of compassion of justice you know when we're perceiving life from our hearts we're truly being and origina and originating awareness from our true sense of being you know Within this world, we've been massively manipulated and we're being persuaded to listen to the mind's talk. And the mind's talk isn't true. It's not true. It's actually a lot of bullshit. And when we are truly powerful, we can generate truth from the heart and then use it to keep our minds focused. We do this in life by, by thinking... A thought from the heart of goodness, love, something that will make us happy. And then when we can hang on to it with our mind, it's almost like we can generate enough space outside of this. We generate a sense of focus with our minds. It's almost like we can seed a, put a seed in our minds and then we can just focus our attention on this seed. And this seed is the thought from the heart. It's a sense of focus, determination to achieve this uh, intention from the heart. It can be anything. It can be positivity, something that's going to make us good, something that's going to be good for us. And we'll notice that the mind will try and tear it apart. You know, the mind will try and destroy it, and it always does. The mind naturally wants to destroy anything good for us. And then the mind wants to then take control and keep us in a state of neglect and suffering. It wants to generate always our attention to shoot bullets in life, shoot bullets of suffering and hatred and toxicity and, and just be a toxic person. But our hearts know truly what's going on. And, and a lot of the time we don't have that sense of space, that sense of awareness to actually understand what's going on because we're so busy fighting. How can someone look above the battlefield and say, ah, that's what's going on? when they're too busy fucking trying to defend themselves and trying to fight against their mind. We're often so busy and we're often so, you know, so busy in life trying to support ourselves in this world, trying to stay focused, trying to not lose the fight that we can't even just take a second to actually look at a quantum perspective and look what's actually going on. And what's going on is that the mind is trying to distract us from our true purpose, our true sense of being, our true sense of existence. And our true sense of existence is just positivity and love. It's trying to distract us from being within that truth of, a, of, of life, of, of being in the state of mind of happiness and love. Because we're, re okay, maybe our society has evolved with manipulation. <laughs> But that doesn't mean that we can't be true to our original sense of being, which is pure. It's love. It's happiness. So, yeah, once we can understand to separate our minds, we can do a good job to originate to our truth. Sure.